More tragic deaths of children due to food poisoning. <laughs> Police crack down on crime as authorities also target non-rate payers. And Gauteng residents are warned to brace for a week of sweltering temperatures. Hello, my name is Matabelo Muloy. It's great to have you with us. This is Eyewitness News. We begin with this tragic story where two children in the West Rand have died after allegedly eating poisonous food from a taxi rank last night. The incident comes just days after two four-year-old children in Soweto reportedly died after eating biscuits from a local spaza shop. Gauteng Police Commissioner Elias Mawela says police investigations are underway to determine the cause of the deaths. Call upon all the regulatory departments within the city that please let them go out and also ensure that they do the inspection of the food and the people who are selling food to check uh, whether the food it is good for human consumption. A pharmaceutical company that manufactures antibiotic drugs for the government says hijacked buildings in Johannesburg pose a danger to its workers. The offices of Portfolio Laboratories are situated right in the city centre, surrounded by abandoned buildings. Managers of the company have told the police that the buildings have become hiding spots for criminals. Well, this has law enforcement officials conducted raids on a number of hijacked buildings in the latest instalment of Operation Chanela today. So that, that is the biggest, the biggest problem affecting our business. And then our, our staff, we, we've got this beautiful mall down the road here. They cannot even go out lunch times to go, go, go buy food or whatever they want to. There's a lady that was mugged in front of our gate here on Monday morning, on her way to work. I mean, so th that's what's happening in the area. Meanwhile, City Power spent today disconnecting businesses who failed to pay their electricity bills. The utility says 16 businesses around Newtown owe the city a collective of 33 million rands. City Power's Arsenio Koza says some of the properties are illegally connected onto the power grid to avoid paying for power. The first property that we've attended and it owes us uh, about half a million. Now we've got, we're going to access to the property and we checked our meter box, there's no meter there, but they have power. So that uh, installation is deemed illegal connection. But the cutoff operation was not a smooth one for City Power. Their teams were met with resistance by some of the businesses. I can take you upstairs now. My accounts are paid prior to the due date and every account of mine is up to date. So why would I neglect an account where I'm trading from? The Council of Geoscience has confirmed that another tremor has shaken Gauteng, this time affecting Soweto and Rudaput. The tremor took place at just after 9 o'clock in the south of Johannesburg last night. The council says it recorded a magnitude of 2.5. Gauteng has been hit by multiple tremors this year, with the most recent one recorded in August. And we wrap up with this. Parts of Gauteng are in the throes of a heat wave, as temperatures today peaked into the mid-30s. The South African Weather Service has issued a heat wave warning and says the high temperatures will persist over the next few days. The following precautionary measures can be taken. Staying hydrated by drinking copious amounts of water, limiting outdoor activities, especially during the hottest time of the day, wearing loose clothing and avoiding dark colored clothing where possible. Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share and to subscribe. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.